Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dor. In this video, I talk about why it's so important that you fail to achieve your dreams and ideals at least once or twice in your life. We can all do with some base level of humility and modesty. We are not gods here to enforce our dreams upon the world. We are here to make a hopeful whisper and to wish that maybe some people, a few, one, two, three, your friends, your family members, perhaps some of their friends and perhaps some of the people you meet along the way, that they will get inspired, that they will feel a bit better thanks to you. As you might have noticed, I haven't really posted any videos on YouTube lately. I've been in a bit of a rut and I haven't really known what I wanted to say anymore. It was about a year and a half or two years ago that I realized that I had failed to achieve my dream to become an influencer on YouTube. And uh, while I felt sadness at the thought of that, at the same time I also felt relief, a sense of freedom as if a burden had been lifted from my shoulders. Because what we think will make us happy can often become the things that make us sad. The things that we hope will make the world a better place can end up being the things that destroyed our worlds, at least for a little bit. So what can we do to make our dreams last? What can we do to make our dreams things that give us wings? Wings of happiness, wings of lightness, wings of peace. Things that give us confidence, things that make us feel better. Our dreams should be boats that carry us to a better tomorrow. And if they don't do that, we're probably on the wrong vessel. The truth is, YouTube is not the first thing that I've failed in my life. Ten years ago, I wanted to be a politician. Ten years ago, I ran for the Green Party, for sustainability, for the stop of climate change. And I failed that too. And in some ways, not to be a bit dramatic, but in some ways it feels like I've died twice in the span of 30 years. I've lived two different lives in the span of 30 years and I feel like I'm 60. But I also feel light and young and fresh and ready for whatever comes next, ready for my next adventure, ready for my next passion, and a little bit more modest, a little bit easier on myself, a little bit more pragmatic. It might feel like becoming pragmatic, becoming cynic about your dreams is the wrong answer, but I don't feel cynic. I feel smaller, but I also feel larger. Smaller in the sense that maybe I won't change the world, but bigger in the sense that I feel that maybe I can change one or two or three of you who are watching, or perhaps at least some of my friends and some of the people that I meet and hang out with and care about. It's of absolute importance that you take whatever high ideals that you hold on to yourself and that you translate them to small, simple things that you can do every single day. And it's very important that the dreams that you take on, the creative projects and aspirations that you have in whatever direction they go, in art, writing, music, creation, work, professional career, being a doctor, being a teacher, or just being a good friend, and that you take those high ideals and you translate those things to those small acts of kindness that you do on the way. It's a cliche, but journey before destination means more than ever to me today. And I hope that it's also going to mean a little bit more to you. Because it's not just about the utopia that you envision for yourself 10 years from now. But it's about those ha fine moments of happiness that you feel on the way towards your dreams. Those small wins that you see, those small 
steps of progress that you make and those things that get you where you need to go next? Or what do you think? Feel free to let me know in the comments down below.